All right. So we're doing something weird today, and I wanted to do it on stream. Well, there's some people here uh, who might have some input as well. I think it'd be kind of fun. So I know whenever the latest cards come out, every popular streamer goes and does like a uh, card set review, predicting how good the cards will be and you know where they slot in, what kinds of decks they see uh, as a, a potential, these kinds of things. Yeah, that's right. These are slightly older cards in that we've got the mini set uh, as well with the mini sets down at the bottom. Um, but what I wanted, I, I figured as a classic player who knows very, uh, very few new cards, I wouldn't say I know none of them. Uh, like Grizzled Geezer's been in here before talking about some of the new ones. I've kind of seen them, but I don't really know any of the, the decks. I don't know how these things are going to fit in. Uh, and I, I know a lot of the audience is very classic heavy or doesn't know a lot of these things too. So that'd be fun to go through, look at these. I don't think we're going to look at all of them in detail. I mean, there's 135 cards. Do we really care about every single one? Probably not. Uh, but let's see, you know, how much like power creep there is, how surprising some of these things are. Uh, yeah, just kind of judge them together. Um, and then as well, if you're someone who watches any of this stuff, any of this classic content, and maybe you're familiar with these cards, maybe you can uh, get some appreciation of how how poor I'm going to be at evaluating these things. So, without further ado, we'll uh, we'll jump in and, and yeah, take a brief look. So even Demon Hunter, I don't even know anything about. I know Demon Hunter has a one uh, cost hero power, and what it gives you plus one attacks so i think he's got lots of like attacky things hero swinging things uh, but other than that yeah no no real clue um so some of the legendaries we've got attack the left and right most enemy minions outcast immunity so outcast is if you're i think it's up here as well pretty sure it's if you're at the uh the left or the right of your hand uh Attack the left and rightmost enemy minions, which actually just seems insane. So you be immune and you get to deal three damage to two things on the turn that you play it. All right, insane, broken. Every demon hunter plays it. Uh, Summon three death rattle minions that cost five or less from your deck. Oh my god, these things seem just bonkers. Like way too good. Uh, oh. Just gonna reply to this uh, one second. Yeah, that is outcast. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that this is very good, but I now I don't know how like prevalent death rattle is that kind of stuff. But the fact that death rattle is always super busted before, I gotta think there's still a lot of good death rattle decks, especially that play around big board clears. So yeah, I'm gonna assume that this is very good as well. Uh, at the start of your next turn, deal three damage to all minions. It sounds shitty. It's like a, I guess it's kind of like a, a tempo doomsayer, right? If you like play it on two, you're playing it in more of a controly thing, then they can't play stuff out. I guess it's not the worst. Maybe there's a place for it, but it doesn't blow me away. Draw two death rattle minions in the case that it's outcast. See, things like this generally don't feel good. Uh, you'd either you'd have to play it right on four when you draw it, or it'd have to be sitting in your hand. Uh, for quite a while, and I feel like you're gonna want your like four mana four four body out pretty soon, and not hang on to it. So, I'm gonna assume not good. Uh, death rattle summon a death rattle minion that costs four or less from your hand. And that also seems pretty good, especially the synergy there. Uh, four or less. I mean, it's gonna be very mana efficient, but pulling a card uh, for your hand instead of deck. Seems runnable. At the start of your next turn, silence all enemy minions. So that seems terrible. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's familiar with like what you need to silence, but like silence all enemy minions next turn. Yeah, can't think what that would be playing around. Not sure if it's played in constructed, but it's been okay in arena. The four four draw death rattles. I, I could see that in Arena, I guess. Hmm. 
Interesting. Interesting. It's a decent in arena. Uh, one man, one, two, death rattle, draw, death rattle, minion. Seems okay, but I mean, you've already got the hero power for one mana to deal the one damage, so the weapon part itself is not like a huge advantage. You're just getting like one extra swing, draw, death rattle, minion. Eh. Seems eh. Summon two, two, two. That's too many twos. Demons with lifesteal. Um, I guess I could see that being good. I don't know if there's much that matters as far as spells go. So the fact that it's a spell is maybe beneficial, but a couple of those with lifesteal seems okay. I seem to remember, I checked that Demon Hunter when it was launched uh, for like one day, and I seem to remember there was a bunch of lifesteal stuff in there. So, I mean, maybe useful if you're smacking with your face all the time. Yeah. So this kind of similar to this one. Uh, it's I guess it's just going to be like deck dependent, stat wise, so a little bit more efficient. But like, yeah, I don't really know what's made up in that deck, so uh, probably about as good as that. Give your hero plus two attack this turn. Upgrades when you have five man. Now, how do you? Uh, how do you know what it's going to be? If it upgrades, does it just like double its effect? Does it tell us here? I've seen these upgrade cards before and I feel like maybe I played with it in Arena as well. Jeez, I really don't know. But if that's the case, if you have five mana, you play that and it becomes like a one mana heroic strike or something? Still doesn't seem that good. Yeah, it does not seem great. Uh, oh. Do, 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 do. Um. Okay, so we're into Druid. After you cast a nature spell, oh right, so this thing, oh just auto upgrades, but the effects aren't easy to find out now that I think about it. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, the auto upgrade thing for sure, once you hit enough mana, but uh, yeah, not not sure if it's, oh here, this is what it says, it just says grows in power when you reach 5 and 10 mana. So I guess if you hit 10 mana, maybe it's like 6 attack or something, it's interesting, but yeah, I, I saw this, so they've added different schools, so there's all these like, types of magic. So after you cast a nature spell, you give another friendly minion plus two plus two. So it, I, I guess most druid spells are going to be nature spells. Um, which I mean is very strong, but I remember playing before like any of the paladin buffing things were just like really, really not good. Uh, but three mana, and then you got to follow it up. Just doesn't feel that strong. If I'm assuming a broken meta. Uh, after a friendly minion with taunt dies, summon a new copy of it without taunt. That seems crazy, because you it's kinda like a Kelth is odd thing. You can run it out onto the board, slam something in, and then it's gonna respawn. So because you can do it on your turn, I think that's gotta be good. Whereas this, yeah, you can do it on your turn, but it's gonna be like three plus whatever it is for a nature spell. Um Shaman and Druid are the nature guys mostly. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, there's got to be some crossover, and then I suppose there's uh, there's ways to get other classes, spells, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it would change things a bit. Uh, let's see. Rush. Frenzy. Transform into a 6-7 Coda with Taunt. Whoa. Okay, so if he takes damage and doesn't die, that's Frenzy. So you rush into something, and as long as you don't die, and then you just turn to a 6-7 with taunt. That seems really good. That seems crazy good. Set each player to zero mana crystals? This seems so troll. Set the cost of cards in all hands and decks to one. Okay, I assume that that's a meme card. That's so crazy. It's, it's kind of like the one that... Uh, it used to, it would give you 10 mana. What the hell was that? There's some druid card that would give you 10 mana. And then, uh, discard your whole hand. Astral Communion, I think it was called. 
it's kind of like that. So you'd build like a really high end deck and then hope that the other guy doesn't have that. But it also gives me like Millhouse Mana Storm <laughs> vibes where, you know, then you're just going to get Pyroblasted for one. Huh. Weird. Draw Beast reduces cost by one, but it upgrades. Huh. Right, now if I click it, is it going to tell me what it upgrades to? No. Okay, that's like the worst description of a card ever. So it probably uh, reduces by more. You draw and reduce it by more. I don't know if Beast Druid's a thing. Doesn't seem great though. Kind of like a far sight, but uh, not that special. Uh, there are constructed decks for that that you've seen. Don't know if it's considered a meme or not. Interesting. Well, that's that's my rating. That's my evaluation uh, without knowing a damn thing. Give a minion plus two plus two if it has taunt. Add a copy of it to your hand. Okay, so taunt druid must be a thing. I see lots of taunt stuff. Uh, Seems alright. It seems okay. It's like a nature spell. Okay, and then you're going to try to combo it with this. And I can see how it's all put together. If Taunt Druid's good, that's probably also decent. Because uh, it's kind of like draw. Hmm. First Taunt minion you play each turn costs two less. I mean, that seems really good. Because you can play that basically for free if you play it with a taunt minion and then you know it's hidden behind something uh so tougher to kill yeah plus the two mana two three seems quite good give your minions plus one plus three does not seem that good like a two mana give your minions plus one plus one is already like or at least in early versions of hearthstone uh not great, you know, it's running some decks, but it's just kind of okay. Getting a little bit more health. Can't think that that's that great. Four mana taunt, death rattle gain, five armor. I think it just seems super solid. Probably very good in a taunt druid. Summon two, one, two turtles with taunt. So two, four stats. Also seems pretty good if you're running a taunt deck. Uh, druid right now is like 30 to 40% win rate in arena. Oh, interesting. Well, maybe maybe these are good for Druid, but just complete uh, complete trash otherwise. Uh, huh, very interesting. Let's see what we got for Hunter. Uh, Tavish Stormpike. After a friendly beast attacks, summon a beast from your deck that costs one less. That sounds like really complicated. But it actually seems good in the sense that it's another one of those cards you can play, do the attack, have it all activate on your turn. Seems really, really strong, but like complicated in the sense that like, especially if you've got like chargers or rushers, you can almost like count down in your deck and like pull minions out. That's super interesting, actually. Uh, Battlecry draw a one, two, and three cost spell. I mean, Battlecry draw three cards is insane, and a 5 mana 3 5 is not a terrible stat line. It is probably good, unless Hunter is like it used to be, and uh, any sort of like control -y based card is just terrible, but it seems like a crazy strong card. Uh, after you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 Hyena with Rush. Hmm. Seems decent. I mean, 2 mana 2 3 is always good, has a pretty good effect. Yeah, seems strong. Uh, Battlecry, discover a beast from your deck. Give all copies of it plus 2 plus 1. Wherever they are. Discover one from your deck and give them all. Boy, I don't know. Doesn't seem that strong. I mean, you get the draw. So four mana, three, four, you get the draw, plus you're buffing something. And then the things in your deck you can pull out with this. It seems all right. It seems all right because it's kind of like a draw, but the buff seems underwhelming. Yeah. Uh, Frenzy, shuffle, a Sunscale Raptor in your deck with 
permanent plus two plus one. This reminds me of that Pogo card. Uh, it's in like Battlegrounds. I don't remember if I ever played with it in Constructed, but the more times you play it, it gets like plus two plus two, the rogue thing, I think. Um, but the fact that this would have to survive damage and then go into your deck and you're pulling like a one mana out seems really bad. It seems like it'd be really hard to snowball that. I feel like you'd have to try to combo it with stuff like this where it's getting pulled out. I don't know. That seems seems not good. Uh, Somebody 2-2 two, two beast with rush, but it upgrades. Okay. Seems fine. Someone plays a 3-2, you just kill it on 2, or you hold on to it late game, and I guess summon a bigger thing. Yeah, seems fine. Start your turn, give all minions in your hand, plus one, plus one. It's always really hard to get off any of these at the start of your turn stuff. A two mana, one, three demands some attention, but I think it's too low of a stat line. I'm gonna guess if it had four health, it'd be really, really good, but it, usually these things don't do great. Now the card that draws spells is good with this neutral legendary that is Battlecry, where it puts a three mana spell in your deck. Okay. When drawn, it summons a three, seven minion that attacks face immediately. That combo does sound very strong. Huh. The Legendary Hunter 1 3 cost about. Yeah, I see what you mean. Huh. Yeah, geez, if you could combo it there, that's insane. Mm. This seems alright, but it's kind of just like splitting stuff up from an arcane shot, right? One damage and a 1 1 hyena with rush. I don't think it's actually that strong. Uh, Battle cry, discover a beast, secret, or weapon. See, that seems very good. Discover it tends to be very good, having that kind of versatility pretty nice. Uh, hunter weapons. Well, actually, I guess I don't really know what their secrets and weapons are for later stuff, but in standard they're good. Yeah, that seems solid. I deal six damage to a minion, excess damage hits the enemy hero. I don't think that's very good. Cobra shot was like a five mana, three damage to a thing, and then three damage to the hero, and it was horrendous. Well, the thing used to be a 310, but got the nerf. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, 37 is pretty big as well. Yeah, I gotta think that's not that good. All right, mage. Varden Dawn Grasp. Freeze all enemy minions. If any are already frozen, deal four damage to them instead. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know how much freeziness there is. Obviously, that'd be very strong. But even Battle Cry, play Frost Nova. It's pretty good. Feels good. I just don't know about this four damage effect, but it feels feels pretty good in the fact that it plays a free Frost Nova. Battlecry, if you've dealt ten damage with your hero power this game, deal ten damage to all enemies. It seems really hard to do. Um maybe we find more hero power stuff later. Oh yeah, look at this. Increase the damage of your hero power by one. For two mana, you still have to use it five times. It seems really hard to pull off. And then you have to have that. It's a good finisher. I don't know. I don't think it's that good. Because I feel like you just run a pirate blast and shoot him in the face as a finisher. Way more consistent. You don't have to run any combos. Who cares about taking out the minions if you can just shoot him in the face and win? You know, I'm going to assume that that's bad. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost two less, but not less than one. Uh, might be good. I know there's lots of like weird card generation stuff that came out later. But anything that makes stuff cost less uh, is probably very good. It's probably very, very good. Uh, Battlecry, fire your hero power at all enemies. Oh, okay, so that's how you start to do stuff like that. Oh, interesting. That, I feel like, is good though, and I still... Even thinking about it, I still feel like you don't... Well, maybe you run Wildfire, but I still feel like this is not that good. I still feel like Pyroblast is just as good. That's that's pretty cool, though. That's... Yeah, that seems stupid good. Seeing the 10-10 in -10 and Wild and with Strong? I don't know about Standard. Hmm. Interesting. I just can't think of a case where you want to, like, clear their whole board, deal 10 damage to their hero, and not win the game. But... Who knows? Freeze a random enemy minion and upgrades. 
zero mana thing. I don't know. It doesn't seem super strong. After you cast a frost spell, okay. So I'm going to 1-1 elemental that freezes. What does it mean that freezes? I guess on hitting it's like a water elemental. Seems eh. Deal 2 damage, discover a spell. Uh, that's probably pretty good, especially with stuff like that. When a friendly minion is attacked, summon a 3-6 water elemental. That doesn't seem bad. A 3 mana water elemental, and that's probably going to trigger... Yeah, that, that feels runnable, anyway. 10, 10 clears the board and hits face. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean, though, is like... You're... I just can't think of a situation where like both are very good, you know? If, if I deal 10 damage to face, I just want to win the game. And then if I want to clear their board, I'll just play Flame Strike in my deck. Like, I don't know. It, it seems very odd that like I really need to do both of those things in order to win the game. But maybe I'm just not seeing it right. I draw two cards, refresh two mana crystals for each spell drawn. I remember Grizzle Geezer told me about this card and that they nerfed it. Now I don't know if it's still good at 5 mana. If you have lots of spells in your deck it's crazy. 1 mana draw 2 cards. So I'm not totally sure. It Probably. It's probably still good. If it was completely broken before it's probably still quite good. Uh, Paladin, Rush, Divine Shield. Whenever this attacks, reduce the cost of holy spells in your hand by one. Holy crap, this seems busted. A 4 mana 4 3 with Rush and Divine Shield. Like, alone, that seems crazy good. And then it does something extra. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, transform your secrets into 3 3 soldiers. They transform back when they die. Oh my god, imagine this when Mysterious Challenger was a thing. That's insane. Well, it used to be 4 mana, but you run it in an all spell mage, so no minions. Oh, if it's an all spell mage, so it's always still going to be 1 mana. Yeah, that's just stupid then. This is so weird. So, secrets are 1 mana. You're going to get a bunch of 3 3 guys, and then they're going to go back to being 1 mana secrets. It seems strong, I just don't know if Secret Paladin is strong. Because <laughs> other than Mysterious Challenger, it was really, really bad, so... I guess just dependent on the deck. If Secrets are good for Paladin now, then that, that is super strong. Um, after you cast a Holy Spell, summon a 2-2 Medic with Lifesteal. Seems not bad. Um... I guess you're going to be casting a lot of holy spells. It's like a violet teacher that summons a way better thing. Alright, probably pretty good then. Give a random friendly minion plus three attack. Upgrades and you have five man. I guess it's like a finisher or something. Kind of depends what it upgrades to. The randomness of it makes it seem really not great though. I gotta think it'd be tough to pull off a finisher if it's always random. Secret Paladin is very strong. Oh, well then that's got to be good. After your hero attacks, cast a secret from your deck. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Mysterious Challenger was really good because it thinned your deck of all these, like, one-mana secrets. So, I would assume that this has the same sort of effect. Interesting. Well, if you say Secret Paladin is good, then this is probably very good. Uh, if you control a secret, draw a minion. Also good. 3 mana, 3, 4, draw a card is good. Not great, but I think it's pretty good. Because I think a lot of the paladin... Well, I guess I don't know what their secrets are. But a lot of the paladin secrets are probably easy to activate. Um, yeah, if you can guarantee more that you're going to have one up. Because, like, classic mage secrets are very easy to do that with. Upgrade goes to plus three for two minions and then three minions. Ah, oh, expands out in the number of minions. Okay. I think that's a bit better. It reduces the randomness. Still doesn't feel amazing, but I can see it as a, a decent finisher then. You had a 27 win streak with Secret Paladin. Oh my god. Alright. 
All right, secret panel, then good. Anything that has the word secret in it, good. Uh, at the start of your turn, summon two one one silver hand recruits. Again, I just feel like at the start of your turn, stuff typically doesn't last that long, especially if you've got like three health. I could see how this would snowball, but I'm assuming this will just die too well often. Uh, get plus one to all minions in your hand, deck, and battlefield. That seems crazy, especially if you can like reduce the cost of it with shit like that. If there's any kind of mid rangey thing, that that's got to be really really good. You lose some tempo, but if you've got stuff on the on the board, it's not that bad. Hmm. After your opponent, okay, secret. After your opponent plays three cards in a turn, summon a three four steed with taunt. I don't know how likely that is, but it's super strong. I gotta, I gotta feel like that is good. Because it works with stuff like this, where you can kind of guarantee it's not going to get played right away. Uh, oh, I see. Secret Paladin got nerfed a bit, but it's still good. Okay. Battle Cry, draw a holy spell. I think that's good, too. I seem to remember there being, like, a, a mage card at one point that was, like, a one-mana, one-one. Discover a spell or something? So if you can pull stuff like this from your deck. Yeah, all right. Priest, if you've restored health this turn, deal that much damage to all enemy minions. Seems pretty good. I mean, hero power, play that. It's kind of like a holy nova. Yeah, I think that's good. I, I actually think that's very good, especially for four. Only takes six for that combo. Seems strong. Choose an enemy minion, steal attack and health from it until this has more. Huh. Steal attack and health from it until this has more. Feels really difficult to evaluate. It's also not super clear. I guess it, like if something has very high health, and very low attack, it'll keep stealing the health. Seems all right though, and it probably helps with some of their spells. I remember that, uh, like, was it Vol'jin and stuff like that, where you're like swapping health and uh, yeah, you can get more get more damaging stuff off. Okay, Legendary's probably probably all right, but I don't know. I find that very difficult to evaluate. I feel like it might not be great. Uh, galloping is so frustrating because it forces you to only play two cards every turn. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Be very tough to play around. Uh, deal one damage to all enemy minions, but it upgrades for two mana. I mean, obviously, like, Arcane Explosion was never good, but later in the game, five mana clear. Yeah, it's going to get closer, like a whole lean over or something. It's probably all right. And then the fact that it's got flexibility adds a lot of utility, I would think. Seems runnable, at least. Have to get going. Catch you soon. All right, well, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Nolan. Well, uh, We'll see you later. Uh, Alright, Taunt, Battle Cry. If you've restored health this turn, gain plus three, plus three. I mean, a Taunting 5-5 five, five seems good. The fact that you can combo it with restoring health. Maybe there's some cheaper ways to do it as well. And with this Zyrella, yeah, I gotta think that's good. What the fuck? Taunt, Death Rattle, restore eight health to all friendly characters. What? Again, like a 6 man, a 6-6 six, six with taunt doesn't even seem that bad. That seems bonkers. What the hell? I gotta think like every priest runs that. For each spell in your hand, deal 1 damage to a random enemy minion. Seems alright. But the fact that it's spread out, I don't know. I feel like you might want more consistency from stuff like this and this. Wiping across the whole board. Doesn't seem amazing. Uh, start of your turn, copy spell from your opponent's deck to your hand. Uh, I don't know. Start of your turn. Don't think it's that good. Stealing other people's spells, I don't think it's that good. Store five health to each hero. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, it is a cheaper way to heal, which is very good. And then it helps against aggro decks. I like that. It's kind of like the zombie chow sort of idea. Or a uh, refreshment vendor. That was another one. That's pretty cool. Lifesteal. Deal 4 damage randomly split among all enemy minions. 
Yeah, again, the randomly split, I think, is not going to be that great. Sure, you heal four, but... Not really guaranteeing that you kill that much. Give him any minion plus three plus five. Cost one less for each spell in your hand. That seems hard to make worth it. You kind of got to get it down to, like... Because even at four, it just becomes, like, a blessing of kings, almost. And that's not, like, the greatest card. So you have to have at least four plus spells in your hand? No, I feel like that's not very good at all. Yeah, I feel like that can't be that good. Rogue. Uh, the next two cards you play this turn cost three less. That seems really good. Oh my god. I know you gotta combo it and that costs four, but, like, Rogue's got lots of cheap stuff. That seems crazy. Uh, battle cry and death rattle and a random poison to your hand. I don't know what a poison is Here we go S something like this Give me a minute. Okay Four minutes three two though the body just seems so terrible unless these poisons end up being like really good We'll, we'll take a peek. I, I gotta think that's not great I seem to remember a different rogue card that had a, a similar battle cry death rattle sort of thing uh, yoink, discover a hero power and set its cost to zero, swap back after two uses. Two free discovered hero powers? Eh. Like, I could see it being good, but it seems mostly inconsistent and just not great. Plus, it means you can't use your own hero power. I don't know. That doesn't seem all that good. After you play a poison, gain one durability. Again, I'll see how poisons are. But even like a 3 mana 2 3. Only so so. I feel like that's not great. Battle Cry deal 2 damage. Uh, if this enters your hand this turn, deal 4 instead. Deal 2 damage is okay. I mean, it's like better than Storm Pike Commando. Deal 4. 4 seems really good. I mean, if you top deck that, that's insane. I think this is an alright card, but if you've got it, like, in your hand the first three turns you're playing on four, it's just kind of okay. Yeah, seems so-so. Give your weapon plus one attack and your hero is immune while attacking. Okay, but that poison stays on the weapon. I see. So you play that with something like that, and then you're immune every time you attack. Okay, this one seems very good. After you play a battle try or a combo draw a card. I'm not sure about that. Seems kind of good. It's it's sort of the idea of like Gadgetsan, but with more restrictions and it's cheap, so you can play it later. That's, that's probably good. Give your weapon after hero attacks, draw a card. That one doesn't seem that good. Two mana, and then you've got to attack multiple times to draw cards. Mm. I feel like it's too slow. Deal two damage, upgrading of five mana. Seems alright. I guess it depends what it gets to, but it could end up being a, a good finisher, I guess. Good at dealing with the early game. Yeah, it seems alright. Frenzy, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by one. Ooh, and it's a 1-4. That actually seems very good, especially if you're going to combo with things like that. I gotta feel like it's not that hard to, uh, to frenzy. You could even, like, backstab it, too. Very cool. That That's probably really good. Hmm. Shaman. Nature spell damage plus three. That's probably an insane finisher, even with, like, lightning bolts and stuff. That's, like, 12 damage with two lightning bolts. Yeah, that seems insane. Firemancer Flurgle. Uh, oh, I actually pulled this one time when we played the... Uh, yeah, Grizzled Geezer got us to play some wild. And I ended up randomly pulling this out of a deck. And uh, it was super good in this wild Murloc deck. After you play Murloc, you one damage to all enemies. Yeah, so I know it's good in wild. I don't know how much... Uh, Murlocs are played in standard, but the the effect itself is crazy in a vacuum. This card seems just bonkers, but 
Yeah, I don't know how Murlocs are. Uh, deal two damage to a minion and a random adjacent one. That feels shitty. Because Chain Lightning itself sucks. The randomness of it is terrible. And then it's like 50-50 just to hit the thing you want. I guess you can hit things on either end to kind of reduce that, but mm, at least there's no overload. Yeah, you'd have to shoot things on the end, I think, to be worth it. Alright, maybe not terrible, but only kind of middle of the road. Well, Battlecry, if you played an elemental last turn, transform an enemy minion into a 0-1 frog with time. Holy cow. Free hex, seems good. Give your minions plus one plus one and give your murlocs an extra plus one plus one. Hmm. Again, if murlocs are good, it's gotta be good, but I think generally they try to keep those like themed decks not very good, like pirates or murlocs or beasts or whatever. They don't they don't tend to be uh, all that great. Uh, let's see. Taunt, deal one damage to all enemy minions. That seems pretty strong. 2-6 is not great, but if you're, yeah, dealing 1 damage to everything. Really good against aggro. Start of your turn, draw a Murloc. No, it sucks. Summon a 1-1 one, one Tiny Fin. That's actually not bad. 2 Murlocs, so you get 2 tribal things. Uh, if you control another Murloc, deal 2 damage. That is very good, especially if you turn 1 into turn 2 that. If you play an elemental last turn, it gain a rush in Wind Fury. That doesn't seem that good. Even rush and Wind Fury on that. Two damage, five health, eh. Yeah, that doesn't feel that strong. And you have to have played an elemental, yeah. Warlock, all right. Whenever you cast a shadow spell, okay, new kind, that costs one or more, add a copy to your hand that costs zero. I don't know what shadow spells are out there. But it does seem strong. I'm gonna assume it's good. Uh, if your deck is empty. If your deck is empty? Whoa. Open a portal that fills your board with 3 2 imps each turn. Well, it's a 5 mana 5 5, which you could actually just play on curve. But okay, let's keep in mind there's probably. There's probably uh, a way to make your deck empty. Such as this. Destroy the top three cards of each deck. Okay. And if you had this, you could get more of this. Alright, I'm kind of figuring this out. Uh, yeah, obviously that is just insane if you pull it off. But, hmm. Taunt. Cost one while your deck has ten or fewer cards. Also seems very good. Ten or fewer doesn't even seem that hard to pull off. So I feel like this is really, really good. Potentially, even in a deck where you're not trying to empty it, you're just uh, playing in control. Uh, deal 5 damage to all minions, sure. Destroy a card in your deck for each kill. Okay. So much of this is just so comboy, but even just deal 5 damage to all minions is like a, a insanely strong hellfire. So, yeah, strong card. Lifesteal Battlecry, if your deck contains 10 or fewer cards, deal 6 damage to a minion. Again, doesn't seem that like crazy. And you've got Lifesteal. Wow. Yeah, that seems very good. At the start of your turn, summon a... No. Always terrible. Summon a 3-2 Imp, and it upgrades. Probably good. I mean, a 2 mana, it's gonna be bigger if you play it later in the game. Okay. Destroy a friendly minion. Deal two damage to all enemy minions. That doesn't seem very good. Most of you are like... It, it's like a really weak shadow flame. But it's cheap. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel too strong. Battlecry and Death, death Rattle. Give another random friendly minion plus one plus one. That seems good. It seems quite good, especially in like a zoo type thing. If there's any sort of zoo, that would, that would be very, very strong. Um, yeah, really hard to evaluate those, but it's interesting uh, that that's a thing. How much more do we got? We've got Warrior and then Neutral and Tokens. Alright, we're probably going to breeze through the Neutral. Uh, let's see what we got for Warrior. Rush. After a friendly minion attacks and survives, give it plus one, plus one. 
Okay, so I mean, you could do that with rush, but at best you're still three mana, three four. Mm, it doesn't feel very strong. Yeah, it doesn't feel that strong. Resurrect two friendly frenzy minions and deal one damage to all other minions. I see, so it's in that order, which means you're gonna proc, oh no, to one, one damage to all other minions? Yeah, all other, other than this, I see. So you're gonna proc the frenzy thing. That does seem strong. It does seem very strong. Taunt Battlecry if your hero attack this turn, summon a copy of this. Probably pretty easy to pull off. On five, two, four, four taunts, that's insane. Deal two damage to all minions, gain two armor for each destroyed. Really, really anti-aggro, but for four, yeah, if Zoo is a thing, or if that, like, Murloc deck is a thing, this is gonna be crazy, but... I feel like it would have to be, like, three damage to be really, really good. My guess would be that that's not run very often. Um, Warsong Envoy. Give plus one attack for each damaged character. You know, one mana, one three is okay. It's like a mana worm. Get Frenzy. I think it's going to be unlikely that you actually uh, benefit from the Frenzy. And I'm going to guess most Warrior decks are more controlly. So it's probably not great. But if you have some more early curve stuff, I could see that being good. I also feel like there's two spaces between there. But I might be crazy. Uh, give minions in your hand. Plus one, plus one. Uh... Depends what it upgrades to, but if it's gonna buff stuff by a lot, it's probably fine. Especially if it's more controlly. Again, you can uh, afford to do that on two. After your hero attacks and kills a minion, draw a card. I mean, a four mana three three weapon is already quite good. Lots of versatility, so I like that. Rush frenzy, draw a card. Seems all right. All right, but nothing crazy. Runnable for sure, though. Uh, Battle cry and frenzy deal one damage to all their minions. Seems good because you're gonna proc all your other frenzy stuff. Plus, it's good anti-aggro. Yeah, I think that's probably good. Give a random taunt minion in your hand. Plus one, plus one, and copy it. Didn't really see any other. Uh, taunt minions or, or taunt stuff here I guess there's just this one there's a lot more in druids so yeah I don't know I, it doesn't seem that great I don't know if you guys can hear my cat snoring by the way me moving my chair just woke her up a bit she's a very noisy uh, snorer uh, okay, yeah, what do we have for these neutrals? We got lots. Let's let's kind of breeze through them. At least take a look at these legendaries. Oh, right. I I, I remember seeing this because it's on the track. Help Mancrick find his wife. She's lasting so many days. Like, I have no clue. I have no clue. Uh, seems weird. It just seems super weird. Uh, no idea if it's strong. Not even going to try. Just so weird. Uh, choose a minion. Swap it with a random one in its owner's hand. That seems good. I mean, you get through a taunt, or you uh, get rid of a big guy. Sure. Oh, this is the one that gets all platinum. I mean, it looks cool. Uh, rush, frenzy, deal. Damage equal uh, to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. So you have to have a way to buff it, or you're just hitting for one. All enemy minions. It seems so-so. Seems all right. But I can't think it'd be that good unless you can somehow buff it. Yeah, I, I gotta think it's not that great. If your deck is no four cost cards, build a custom golem. Again, no clue. No clue what that's gonna be. If it is no four cost cards. I guess no other four cost cards. Yeah, not even gonna try to evaluate that one. Summon a five five lookout for each watch post you've summoned this game. Uh, if watch posts are good, then that's gonna be like 
super insanely good. Seven mana five five summon any number of five fives. Yeah, crazy good. Right, these watch posts are like can't attack things. So can't attack. Give your minions plus one plus one seems good. Uh, discover card in your opponent's deck. They draw theirs as well. Still the four mana five five. Yeah, but it's going to benefit them more than you, probably. Really interesting, though, because you know what you're giving them. I wouldn't think you'd actually want that, though. Try your highest cost spell. There's probably a deck for that. Summon a random minion with the same cost. You draw, like, a Pyroblast or something. Hmm. There's probably a deck where that works. Probably a deck that makes that quite good. After you cast a holy spell, give a random friendly minion plus two health. I feel like these are just not that good. These types of after you do stuff, buff your guys. Frenzy, give your other minions plus two plus two. Yeah, I don't feel like that's that good. On five man, it's probably too easy to kill this without proccing. Copy your opponent's secrets and put them into play. That's just so rude. That is so rude. It's oh, it's even worse than the than like flares or Kazan Mystic. That is so rude. I guess it could counter a uh, secret paladin pretty well. Can't attack after your opponent plays a minion, summon a 2 2 grind. I played against this in Arena, and it was the most obnoxious thing ever. I don't know if it's that good and constructed, but I feel like that is super good. Uh, Frenzy, destroy a random enemy minion. I actually feel like that's good, but just knowing how the game works, a 6 mana 4 8 usually will just like die from spells. I would be curious if you could actually pull that off though. This this one, I feel like there's potential there. One of the few neutral bigger guns I think there would be. Summon a 5-8 demon spawn with taunt. It's very slow, it would be a good arena card, but probably too slow as well. Risk of silence. Uh, deal three damage to your hero for an extra like one health. That seems really bad. Frenzy attack a random enemy. That also doesn't seem very good. Unless it goes face. That's the only thing I think. If it goes face, it's really nice. Frenzy at a random spell your class uh, from your class to your hand. I think that's good. That was really good in Arena. The little bit that I played. Uh, Taunt, Frenzy, gain armor equal to the damage taken. That was another one I played in Arena. Uh, I, it's probably not that good though. There's lots of ways to deal one damage. 3-7 Taunt. Yeah, I gotta feel like that's not that good and constructed. Death Rattle, deal 5 damage to your hero. Uh, yeah, if it gets blown up by a spell, it's just horrible. I'm gonna guess it's not very good. Frenzy, summon another Gruntled Patron. Okay, yeah, right, because Frenzy can only proc once. So you can bring in one other Patron. It's like a crappier Grim Patron. It's probably not that good. Having like a 3-2 and a 3-3, try to... But there was a lot of Warrior stuff where you could get multiple one damage on things. I'd be curious if there's a deck that could make that work, but my instinct tells me it's not that good. Uh, taunt, battle cry deals 6 damage to this minion. Okay, so this is kind of like a priesty thing. Uh, similar to Injured Blade Master. Other than Priest, I, I doubt it's good and even in Priest. Not really sure, but there's probably a spot for it. Somewhere in, in a Priest deck. Uh, your Death Rattle cards cost 1 less. So 3 mana 2 4 is really bad. Um... Death cards cost like one less. Yeah, I doubt that this survives as well. I doubt that you get it off. The two mana ones that reduce mana cost tend to be very good, like mech warpers and things like that. I doubt that this survives. After a friendly secret is revealed, gain plus two plus two. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe in that paladin it's actually good. I gotta feel like it's pretty easy to kill that before proccing secrets. My gut's gonna tell me it's not good, but if there is a deck, that's probably it. Taunt, Death Rider, restore four health to your hero. I can see that being played. It's just kind of a slow card. It's gonna help you get into the late game. 
It doesn't seem great, but again, I, I feel like there's a couple decks that could use that. Uh, oh, I played with this in Arena. This actually does seem pretty good. Battlecry summon a 2-1 Hog with Rush. It, it's likely too weak for the constructed meta, just looking at like the stat line. Uh, but it was good in Arena. Yeah, it's probably too weak for constructed. Uh, give your weapon plus one attack. Don't think that's very good. Frenzy, gain divine shield. Huh. That one's interesting. How likely would it be that you get that off? A three mana, three, four? You could do that in that warrior deck. Maybe. This might see play. This might see some play. I could see that seeing play. Uh, poisonous Battlecry Discover a Spell. Battlecry Discover a Spell is pretty good. Poisonous is pretty good. Yeah, I feel like that's got to be somewhere. And it's a beast. Get the beast tag. Buff him. Seems alright. Can't attack after your opponent draws a card. It costs one more. Yeah, I played against that. I feel like these watch posts are just super good. And they can really snowball out of control. Uh, if you control Murloc, gain plus one, plus one. Yeah, you'd probably run that in a Murloc deck. After you summon a Murloc, give it plus one attack and rush. That seems very good. Deal three damage to the enemy hero on Frenzy. I doubt that it's very good, but maybe because it's got the beast tag, maybe you'd have it. Because like River Croc saw some play with like Houndmaster. So I feel like there's a chance that, yeah, either in like that druid that would buff a uh, beast, potentially hunter, that could be okay. Uh, Battle cry your next spell is turn is plus two spell damage. But only your next spell. Hmm. It's a pretty strong effect, but the body's really bad. That's, that's a really, really interesting one. It can help a little bit as a finisher too. Yeah, that seems like an all right card. Uh, taunt, battle cry if you're holding a nature spell, gain plus two health. That's probably really good, actually. I bet you can get that off a lot. Two mana, two four with taunt seems really good. Battle cry, the next elemental you play costs one less. So it's basically uh, potentially free. Oh, and it carries across turns. That's probably really, really good. It's probably really good. I uh, don't really care about the tokens. We don't have to go into those. And I'm not going to go into... Uh, I think they've got like... Oh, here we go. Here's all the rank stuff. So we could have seen... Uh, I see. Could have went through and seen what all these different things do. But it's alright. We don't have to revisit them. Uh, and then I think at the bottom of this it goes and it, it talks about the mini set and stuff like that. But I just wanted to go through the 135... Uh, kind of take a peek see what it looked like from the perspective of a classic player who knows like absolutely nothing uh and yeah it's kind of thought to be fun to share with a bunch of other classic players um i think that's going to be it for this stream today uh hopefully that was a nice little diversion uh, appreciate everyone watching on twitch or youtube uh tomorrow's generally our day off from hearthstone and I actually have no idea what we're going to do. Uh, I still like to stream tomorrow, but yeah, no no clue. I don't have anything in store, so we'll wing it. Small chance it's hard of stone if I just can't think of anything else. Um, but yeah, it's kind of reserved for something else, so we'll see. Uh, but in any case, appreciate everyone watching. Hope you have a good night, and uh, see you another time.